Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostles of the Great Millstone. And salutations to you, brothers, pushing the word in truth and in sincerity, all right? I want to get into a quick lesson, basically a scripture of the day. You know, um, just basically the Lord is not at all going to acquit the wicked, all right? And we must remember that as we go through our trials and tribulations and carrying our cross in this truth, all right? That these scriptures are our comfort, man. These scriptures are our comfort, okay? If you're ever feeling down or uh, depressed, we have to remember these scriptures, man. That's why we have to read, understand, okay? Matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. Uh, it's a lot here. This is Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. And what time is that talking about? Jacob's trouble. Because it tells you in 2nd Edris, the 6th chapter, verse 9, that Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right? With the mark of the beast now in the soils of America, all right, soon to be declared uh, mandatory to take, all right, the, the new currency, okay, seeing all these things are going on, we're at the end, man. The chip is the big one of the biggest prophecies, man. All right? Like Apostle Haas said, once the, the chip comes, and it's mandatory, you're most has to speed things up, man. Okay? But we must remember these scriptures, all right? Because this is our hope. These scriptures are our hope, man. This word, we hope in the word. Our strength is in the word, all right? In Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? This is Nahum chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, is slow to anger and great in power. Our Lord is great in power, man. Our Savior is great in power, man. The Heavenly Father is great in power, man. We have nothing to worry about, all right? We must pray for strength, read these scriptures, and going back to that um, Revelations 1, uh, uh, but the scripture I read in Revelations, okay, that read of me to understand, man. Like it says in Proverbs, with all that getting, get understanding, man. The understanding of these scriptures that these things must happen gives you comfort, all right? Not only do we, we uh, read about the sweet, but we read about the bitter too, man. We have to understand both sides, all right? The scriptures say we are gods, man. A god understands... Uh, life, death, all right, being in the flesh, spiritual things. A God knows all things, man. And we're in training to be a God, man. So our power is great, man. All right. It says, and will not at all acquit the wicked. So the Lord's not going to let Esau off, man. The Lord's not going to let Esau off. The Lord's not going to let two-thirds of our people off, okay? No one's going to get acquitted, man. No one's getting off easy, man, okay? It says, The Lord have his way in the whirlwind and in the storm, and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Because the Lord's coming back for vengeance, man, all right? The Lord's coming back to save the elect of Israel, all right? Raise up the elect of Israel, okay? And bring them to a kingdom, man, and take down this wicked kingdom, man. So, so when you, so the people that oppress us, that's coming against us, guess what? The Lord's not gonna at all acquit the wicked, man. Everybody's gonna get their turn, and this is comforting to us as we uh, deal and carry our cross, man. All right. So, hopefully, that's what's edifying. I'm gonna give all praise to you. How about Shimei Shai and Shalom?